Okay, continue here. Information has also been copied in the opposite direction. High school student Vivian Riska won a 100,000 scholarship from the Intel Science Talent Search for writing the words, quote, June 6th, Invasion Normandy. Why the prize? She wrote them in DNA using its chemical code. Six. The same message that another person can scribble on a napkin at the restaurant or type into a computer. Vivian Riska and others have learned to write in DNA. The material that carries the message does not determine the message. Minds determine messages. If a language and letters or some other kind of code had somehow been provided, perhaps chance action could, if given enough tries, put a few letters together in a sentence. The first cell, however, had to have a huge, carefully planned instruction book that could make many complex substances and use them to build uh, the molecular me machines to that do the work of the cell. How did the letters get into the correct order to code for the hundreds of precise proteins which were essential to the life of the first cell? If there had been no intel intellect involved, would not chance have arranged them in one of the billions of possible orders of nonsense? Some have written computer programs which they claim can gradually make messages by random processes. They are pulling your leg. If it was true, your computer would already be doing it. Theirs chooses the right letters because they use their intelligence to write prog uh, a program that would choose letters. I remember when people joked that computers with no system or program could only be used as anchors. Computers are lighter weight now, so unprogrammed computer computers don't even make good anchors anymore. In large quantities, unprogrammed RNA or DNA might be useful as dog food, but it certainly could not direct the life of a cell. Others have claimed that the amount of information depends only on the number of letters, that if you add random letters, Instead of creating typographical errors, you increase the information, but not in the book they wrote. Neither does sprinkling ink here and there on a blank page produce meaningful information. Sprinkling ink on the page of writing is even worse. The more ink is sprinkled, the more information is covered up. Random ink blots obliterate information. They don't add up. They, they don't add any. Those who claim the contrary confused static with the message in a desperate in a desperate attempt to save their atheistic faith. Only minds compose information. Scientists with the SETI Institute are using huge radio telescopes to search for messages from intelligent beings out in space. Letters S E T S E-T-Y-I means search for intelligent uh, extraterrestrial life. Okay. They correctly state that intelligent messages are created only by intelligent means. The first step in their search Yeah. Their first step in their search is to separate between static and message. So far, all they have found is static, but if they find a message from space, they will have shown that there are intelligent beings out there somewhere. If exceptions existed and the intelligent messages could be sent out without any intelligence involved, their whole search would be meaningless. Dr. Charles Thaxton writes, if the inference for intelligence cause for DNA 
and for life too, if DNA is truly necessary for life, is in error, then we would likewise be in error to infer the presence of extraterrestrial intelligence upon receipt of intelligent radio messages from these space. More important, our knowledge of past civilizations provided by archaeologists would be in jeopardy. The, these supposed artifacts might be, after all, the result of unknown natural causes. Cave paintings, for example, may not be the result of early humans. Indeed, excavated ancient libraries could not be trusted to contain the works of intelligent men and women. The evidence that an intelligent creator invented DNA is reinforced by the fact that its information packaging system has been miniaturized to the greatest extent possible. This is true not only of human DNA, but also of that in primitive cells. After a number of intelligent scientists have worked, had worked for many years developing ever better microfilm, they fit the entire Bible on one 32 by 33 millimeter film. Amazing! However, that space covered with DNA would hold information equivalent to 7.7 .7 .7 million Bibles. Biology books often imply that the information in DNA just formed of itself with no input from an intelligent source. That is not biology. It is not science. And it's not true. If it were true, why did it take generations of intelligent scientists, thousands of men hours, to develop the millions of times less efficient microfilm? The evidence is over, uh, was overwhelming. The information in DNA was put there by a creator who is so intelligent that we should listen to everything he has to say. And that's it. Bye.